Hi, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. Um, this is going to be the reading for the last part of November, the end of the month, uh, November 15th through the 30th of 2018 for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Taurus. So, how are you doing today, Taurus? One of my cards just flew everywhere. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Um... Also, you guys, this is my new channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up uh, to show your support for my channel. Um, as well as, please, I want to hear your comments and how the readings pertain to you, and please take what resonates, what doesn't, leave for someone else. And you can always check back a few weeks later after watching a reading, and you can see where things come into play where you wasn't able to see them in the beginning. So, just thank you so much. I've been meditating on your cards. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, November the 15th to November the 30th, 2018. Thank you, Spirit, Spirit Guides, Higher Self, Gods and Goddesses, Creator of all. Queen of Swords, Knight of Coins, Seven of Cups, and the Two of Swords. And from the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers. Okay. So this could be dealing with the Gemini, um, or this is this is a relationship card, uh, as well as you might need to make a decision. But let's go ahead and take a look at your cards and see what they are telling me here. Please excuse my puppies. <laughs> okay, your first card, which represents you, is the Six of Cups. Um, so this is a card about thinking about the past, thinking about childhood memories, you know, kind of longing for, you know, having memories and, you know, kind of missing those days is kind of what I'm getting with this. Um, I'm getting kind of a sadness, and I don't know why. Um, you have in the situation, the current situation, you have the Nine of Cups. And this is a beautiful card. This is, you know, kind of like you're making a wish and, you know, your wishes are coming true. So this is in your current situation. So I see that you have a wish or a dream or something that you've been wanting. Something to happen, something... You know, a job, whether it be a job, a relationship, you know. Um, I see you getting that. I, I see you being very happy and, and getting this. This could be somebody from your past coming into your life. You know, you guys could have been childhood uh, sweethearts. And, you know, you haven't seen each other in a long time. And you're just now getting to be around each other and getting to know each other. That's kind of what Spirit's telling me right now. And um, other information that's coming in here with this Queen of Swords, all right? This is a woman. She has she has her sword, right? This this woman, she's she's been hurt, you know, and she can stand her ground because of that. The pain she has dealt with in her life causes her to be very cautious. And um, she can, a lot of, People think of her as being a cold woman, you know, um, but she's not. She's a very, she's, she's a very intelligent woman, but she thinks things through clearly. She doesn't use her heart. She uses her mind. So this could be you, Taurus. This could be how you feel. You, you could have been hurt in a past relationship and getting, you know, just now being able to move on past that and, here you have someone that has come up from the past that you want to have a relationship with. That this is a you know something you've wished for, and now you're you're kind of you're overanalyzing maybe just a bit because you've been hurt and you don't want to take a chance because you're afraid of getting hurt again. But 
the unexpected here that I see coming in, you have the Knight of Coins here. And this is the slow moving energy, right? So this is like really, things are moving slow. Um, this communication with this person right now, I would say, could be just over the phone, texting. It could be Facebook. Uh, many different ways of communicate, communi excuse me, communicating nowadays. So, I, I see this as slow communication. I see somebody coming in slowly, and you have, you have your guard up, Taurus. You have your guard up, all right? Um, you're, you're looking at this, and, you know, the advice of the universe, okay, and the cards is telling you the Seven of Cups. You need to make a wise choice. You know, you need to pick something that makes you happy. And you have this. It's telling you that you have all the means with this. <laughs> this woman knows what she wants, okay? She's a fighter. But you're going to have to take that chance. You're going to have to take that chance. Because Taurus Spirit's telling me that you've been in a past relationship, whether it was a marriage, a commitment, whatever, and they hurt you. They hurt you badly. And you have your guard up. Um, I do want to note, these are general readings. Um, I will be doing love readings, but this has, this is definitely, has to do with the love uh, for many of you. So, I just wanted to get that out there. <coughs> Excuse me. But this Seven of Cups, this is saying that you, you know, you have many decisions. And you can cut through that to make the right decision, because... As I see in your outcome here, you have the Two of Swords. You already know which decision to make. You already know which way to go with this. But you're you're not wanting to see it. You're, you're wanting to stay on the defense right here. You're wanting to be like, well, I've been hurt before. I don't think I want to take a chance and get hurt again. It's not worth it. And what... This is telling me is is that if you do, you you're gonna have someone that's gonna this could be for a man or a woman. Whoever's coming into your life from your past, they truly love and care about you. So you have to stop and think not every relationship, not not every, you know, just because one turned out bad doesn't mean it has to be rent for the rest, right? Sometimes you have to take a chance. You have to you have to think like the Pisces. You know, this is a Pisces card right here. Okay, this is a water card right here. Sometimes you have to take it. You have to go after it. You, you know, you have to. And if you do, you you'll be rewarded. Look at all these cups. Look how happy this man is in this card. So, what this is telling me is that go for it, Taurus. Don't, please don't. You'll never know unless you do it. It's just plain and simple. Let's just, that, that, let's just put it out there like that. So, you'll be wondering about it. You'll be regretting it. Later on down the road, you're going to be like, wow, you know, this person could get with someone else. And you're like, that could have been me. You know, that, it could have been me. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. There's, there is no need in doing that to yourself. Sometimes we just have to go with the flow and take a chance in life. And Taurus, I feel like this is your time to go, go with the flow. Take that chance on love. I know I've been hurt in the past myself, but and plus it'll make oh, angel of balance. Angel of Balance. This is what flew out here. This is... The angels are with you right now. They're helping you, Taurus. They're helping you balance out. Because you're an earth sign. And you're showing up here and your energy is air. Okay? The Queen of Swords. This is, you know... They're, they're trying to balance you out. Your angels are, are around you guys. Um, I love this card. It's beautiful. They're watching you as you progress. 
and they're trying to nudge you in the, you know, the road you need to go down. And I can see that you're, you're not all the way fighting it. You're kind of so-so in the middle. And I believe that's why this balance is coming up here. Um, they're telling you to take a chance. Let's take a chance. Let's see what the goddess deck has to say here. Thank you so much. Yes, Kuan Yin, compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Okay? So, what this is telling me is that you have a lot of probably anger or emotions still get towards the last relationship that you may have been in, um, that, you know, they've hurt you. And this is card is just saying, have compassion for yourself and others. Move on, move forward, Taurus. You know, whenever you can release the negative of people that have hurt you, it allows for bounty and growth to come in, you know, it, where you was lacking before, you'll be filled like a vessel, and your cup will just be running over, you know, that's, and we have to take chances in life, I'm really urging you guys to, this is, ended up being a love reading, and, um, because someone was meant to hear this, uh, Taurus, and this may not even be if you're cross-watching or if you're another sign and you come across this video. It doesn't matter if it, you know, this is for you, okay? Someone was meant to hear this. So, I'm happy I was able to share this with you, and I thank you so much. And please give me a thumbs up and let me know how this resonates with you guys. And... Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.